Hello! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to J610. We are doing our Theme Park Tycoon 2 episode 63. I I'm probably not gonna comment what episode it is every time because most likely I'll forget. So, this is gonna be an exciting episode because you're finally not gonna have to look at this. So, <laughs> we're gonna be looking at this blank slate over here and taking on that... I I've been kind of stressed out about it because I don't know what I'm gonna put there. I don't really know what the train is gonna look like. I kind of want a mountain, but I don't know how normal a mountain would look, especially with the height limit and the amount of limit we have on our save file. Uh... But, but here's, here's one of the interesting things about a park. So, up here is this wizard's tower with these four, with these four cubes. I probably explained that. But this, you, you see how this wooden cube is, is red? Uh, look at that cube adjacent to our entire park here. So, uh, for instance, in this bottom right hand corner, we've got the red paths. And we've got this red cube in the bottom right hand corner of here, so hopefully, if we stick to it, this section will be yellow paths. We'll have yellow, yellow kind of theme to it. It'll be like yellow pipes, yellow, yellow paths. It'll be cool, hopefully. Hopefully we can get this to come out looking okay. I mean, we've got a lot of money to work with. Money isn't really even a problem anymore. In fact, we don't even have to worry about making much of a profit. Everything else is just additional stuff by this point. Uh, but I should probably set our timer. You know, someday. I mean, it's been over a year, but someday I might remember that unconsciously. But for now, I don't. So, let's, let's just get right into it. I'm really freaked out. I'm really freaked out about it. We've got our alley of signs. We've got the round table food court, medieval su su spubby, which was what it used to be called. We've got Heath over here, and then we've got this field. I mean, our park from outside, it isn't too impressive because of this field. So once we get this field in, things are going to start looking spectacular. But here we go. So this is the first step. So I have not worked with terrain in this game before. So if I make something that looks even remotely cool, that'll be pretty good. Um... What I probably want to do to start off is paint rain. So, uh, this is something that's going to help us out a lot. We can actually click this button to increase it to, I guess, a maximum of... What is this? Maybe 4x4, four 5x5? Four, five five. It's probably 5x5. Five five. Uh, we can measure it using this. 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 5x5 five, five five squared. Okay, so we've got this. Hopefully there's nothing underneath that actually needs to be a certain color. Um, but we're gonna start painting this terrain, so let's start off with a good old speed mode paint terrain go. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I kind of saw this one coming. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is what I kind of wanted to avoid. Uh. Oh. Ooh. ooh. Let's lower back, back down to one. Is it snow? Is it snow that I'm working with? Hopefully my character doesn't break. I bet they haven't fixed that. Okay, okay. This looks like an easy fix. An easy fix. Easy fix. Okay, we got that. Okay, okay, continue. Okay! Okay, we've got, we've got a nice... Nice area of stone now. So that's already a vast difference from what it was before. In fact, it's kind of looking weird now that we have this section. We've got to remember to keep this. Maybe I should make... Okay, I should probably leave grass? Ah, oh, man, I don't know. You see, I, I've not yet decided on what I wanted to do with this section here. So before, before I remembered that we have a certain limit to the amount of blocks we have, I was wanting to put a bunch of arches, that like a bunch of tall arches that matched up with this entrance that went over the top of it leading to the center and some kind of like kind of like a weird looking mall. But the problem with that is that we have limited space and that would take up I mean this entrance it's just a big mass of blocks. I, I mean it would take up so much space to make a bunch of arches like you know a dozen arches down this or something like that. So you know, potentially, 
we might just want bushes here and like trees and stuff and then have rocks here on this side to match up with the terrain so we should probably put some filler in there right now so we could start finally making we don't want to cover up this of course we can uh we can put some trees in here okay we don't want to cover up the signs we want to leave the signs open we just covered up a window that's fine we just we just covered up another one i have not been I have- I should be changing the orientation of some of these trees. Um... Uh... Yeah, we want to make them really nice and, and different. Because if you keep rotating them, then it makes them nice and interesting. Okay, we've got- we've got trees here. With no- no pattern to them. Okay, let's add some bushes in here. Hopefully these bushes don't clip into the wall weirdly. If they do, that's- a sacrifice that probably just needs to be made. Uh, we'll probably have a few rocks and such in here. Maybe some square trees. Yeah, some square trees would look nice. Let's add some square trees here. Uh, let's have, like, a few rocks. Rocks make things look reasonable. We'll just have it out in the open. We won't wall it off. Yeah, sure. It's already looking really fantastic. It's making- it's really spicing up this area. It, it's incredible what, like, a bunch of these fake little bushes and stuff do. I mean, it, it has the same kind of effect in real life. It's, uh... It's- I- I, at least, am pretty impressed by the whole concept. Because, you know, who would have thought a bunch of rocks would be so aesthetically pleasing? You know? Look at that. Look at that. It looks, like, five times better than it did before. Now that it has a whole bunch of stuff. Now that it's actually filled out, not just grass. <coughs> Oops. Uh, still got that scurvy from the Galleon series, which surprisingly few people have watched. We recently hit... Well, we recently won hit 200 subscribers. Yay! 200 subscribers! Uh, we also... Uh, it was kind of a... Kind of... It was a close match between the Hostage Heath video and... Uh, and, like, the Scoobus video for Robot64. Those are the two videos that YouTube... For some reason, I guess recommends to people because uh, the Scoobus video one being the first video of on our channel to reach a thousand views. So that's a good landmark. We did it. We reached a thousand views, and with one video, it's the Scoobus one first. Uh, Theme Park Tycoon two kind of slowed down there a little bit, but it's gonna reach there too. So we're gonna have two videos that hit a thousand. Uh, quite usually by this point, a, a YouTuber might have made a video that you know was recommended a ton or got a lot of views. Just pretty much became popular. I, I be, my videos being series probably don't have those. Uh, okay, okay. So now that we have this worked out, well, we've got a little bit of a gap over here. We probably want to add in bushes and stuff for this section too, don't we? Uh, yeah, probably. Well, maybe we leave it. I just got a Roblox Plus notification. Hopefully it wasn't anything good, because that would suck. Uh, let's not add in rocks and stuff to this section just yet, but we want to keep in mind there should be a one, one block gap. We can already kind of see a seam there. You can see that kind of seam, you know, running across there if you have a very keen sight. It might also be of lower quality video, so you might not be able to see it. But, uh, we want to leave one space in between here. So any, any buildings and stuff, we probably want to have start over here. In fact... We just just to start it off, let's get like a rickety. Oh, that's not right. Let's get like a rickety wooden fence going here. Uh, speed mode building a rickety wooden fence. <laughs> okay, yeah, that works. That's good. That's cool. Um, let's see. We we also want to keep in mind that I mean this was a mistake that I made that there's two blocks of space, but we want mistakes. Uh, as a wise, a very wise man once said, uh, are just happy accidents. So, let's go over here. Uh, let's go right. Let, let's just... Are we gonna do another speed mode? Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, quick speed mode. Okay, there we go. That was insanely quick. So now we've got that. We've got that figured out. So there's not really a wall in between that right there, so... Pretty much, this is the area we want to start editing our terrain in. 
here's the problem with editing terrain. I already mentioned this once. We've got, like, things like this. This big ol' crazy thing. And we need that much flat area to do it with. And so in the grand scheme of things, you know, if we're gonna have some kind of complex terrain in here, like maybe a river running through or something, it's gonna be difficult to have this in here. Especially with, like, the really big ones. Like, uh, geez, I don't know. There, there's, a, there's a number of them we haven't used. Welcome back again. What the heck? Achievement welcome back. I've not seen that before. I'll probably have to, in between episodes, look into what that is. Uh, or I could look into it right now. Oh, Junior Coaster, color 2, color 1. Oh, you can actually set... You can set the colors in the menu. That's cool. They added that. Uh, but as I was saying, the... Uh, there's, there's larger ones. Let me... Like, this one, or... Things like this. Or, good god, this thing. It, that whole blue area needs to be flat. Including the fact that I can't really build many things around that. Dang it, that notification. Okay, let me tab out. There's a lot of things I... Okay, yeah. Yeah, yep, yeah, definitely. Give me a sec. Okay, okay. A lot of it's just, uh, prices increasing and stuff. Hopefully those pop-ups don't come up too much. But, let's just hope it doesn't become too annoying. Roblox Plus is a great thing if you're, uh... If you're, you know... If, if you're into buying limiteds or... You just want to know what kind of new stuff comes out. It tells you pretty much the moment Roblox uploads it. A lot of a lot of people have it set up to where they just instantly buy it. You know, those really rich people. I'm not one of them, uh, aside from how it might seem. Uh, okay, we've got this big space to work with, so let's start working with this terrain. I'm just going to start putting stuff down. I don't really know. We're going to go with block manipulation. we got to stop hearing that those people screaming on that ride. Jeez. Okay. I'm guessing with this block manipulation, we're gonna have a lot of more blocky terrain. Like, like, yeah, sure, obviously blocky, but, you know, more Roblox blocky, not like, you know, we, we might have, I, I have yet to decide whether or not we'll have the edit, edit terrain height and then use, like, the, the cool, you know, like, making it all spiky, like, uh, <clears throat> let's see if I can get, get my screen to arc over to, like, like this kind of area right over there, you see it? Yeah, so, I don't know. We'll just have to see what looks good. Preferably, we would have a mountain kind of, like, in this section. Because what I was thinking is, especially with the cannon system, once they go through the portal, I want them to kind of teleport inside of a mountain. And then, you know, a bunch of other things around here. We might want to have, like, a more shanty-looking town being, being in here somewhere. Like, kind of that kind of aesthetic. We want to have less buildings. Preferably... If terrain takes up less space in our save file, hopefully it does, then this will kind of catch us up. Then we'll have like half of our part complete, and maybe our save file will be less than half full. That way we'd be able to to uh, build the rest of this stuff with less with with more stuff put into it. So that that would be good. I mean, this server's fairly clean. We're not gonna get any lag. Not that lag was really a problem before, but we're not getting any lag while we're in here. So let's let's start off with some some spicy. Uh, let's let's actually start placing things down. We probably want. Uh, I'll just place something down there first. First go. I wish I wish you know if it was not all gray. I think once it's brighter out, there might be a little bit. It might be a little bit better there. But okay. I guess we're gonna go for a corner mountain. So, our mountain's probably gonna be cut off here at some point. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's let's see. We'll, we'll have to see about that. Uh, we probably want some stuff here. Okay, we just want a general mountain feel. Let's start out by getting our... getting the base shape of our mountain figured out. Uh, we probably want it to be... We, we might even have to buy more height. You see, the the game automatically adjusts. You can see the, like, the texture shifting because... Look at that. Like, you can see it. You can see it visibly sh shifting because I'm pretty sure the game automatically adjusts, like, the size of the blocks depending on the terrain. And I think that's to take up less sa space in the file. So that's pretty cool. Um... I don't know. Are you able to place it like that? Okay, it won't stop you and give you a big error message and stuff. Okay, we've got quite a big area set out here, uh, but we might want to even go bigger. Uh, okay, okay. So, 
Ah, oh, it's it's a real big question though. Do we want to leave it blocky, or do we want to make it all pointed and stuff? I think blocky might be the way to go, um, because I'm not very confident with this one. Uh, I don't know exactly how well I'm gonna do here. Uh, we probably want it to go out a little bit more like this, maybe. It's still a lot of space to take up. Of course, this park is a lot more decorative, if anything. Okay, we probably want to lower the size down a little bit. Oh, that's just one block. We probably want to get a little bit more than that. And go with something like this. Gotta spice it up a little bit, you know. Add that, then go down to one block. Maybe add some, some spicy little bits and pieces around here. Gotta make it look more mountain-y, mountain you know. Just that whole feel. Okay, looks kind of natural by this point. Maybe, maybe something like that. Okay, that's a good base for a mountain. I'd say so. We'll probably have some stuff inside. What could fit inside of here? Because this, this is probably going to be hollow inside. It's probably going to be very hollow. In fact, uh, just to start off, this, this gap, I can already see it being problematic. So we'll probably want to go over here, block manipulation. And just add some more area around here. Just give it give it a little bit more. Uh, maybe maybe we'll even have like a waterfall and then like a waterfall. I don't I don't know how we'd have like a waterfall entrance or maybe. Uh, geez, I don't know. That sounds pretty crazy though. It sounds like something that we do though. Always have like that cool waterfall uh, entrance whenever you make like a mountain. It's always awesome to have. Okay, uh, we probably want something like, uh, like this, maybe, uh, get some, get some stuff like that. Okay, I'd say that looks fairly good, fairly natural, well, as far as Roblox is concerned. So we've got our first step here of what hopefully will turn into a mountain. So we probably want to build it layer by layer. Uh, I say on this side we'll have like kind of more of a sheer cliff, maybe, more of a, let's see, let's see, okay, we'll kind of, we'll kind of go along with whatever seems, seems right, we'll have more of a sheer kind of flat, you know, more, more steep, maybe, that's the way to put it. Um, we probably want to get this filled out. We'll leave that unfilled. Okay, we we want to go over here, kind of just fill this area out. Uh, yeah, maybe get get some of this going up here. Maybe have it like kind of kind of do that. Maybe at some points would that be good? I don't really know. This mountain's gonna start looking weird. I can already see some problems with it, specifically because of this border. Because it's gonna- because it's right on the edge, it's gonna start cutting out weirdly. So our mountain- this is probably a problem that anyone building a mountain in this game faces, is that it's gonna look really weird on this corner. So do we want it to look weird and just cut off? Like it's just part of the- like o only looks good from inside, but then on the outside it's just a big flat wall? Or do you want something else, you know? It's just something we've got to decide. We probably want to remove air and remove, like, a, f a few chunks of this. Like, just make it look more natural. You know. You know what I mean? Yeah, you better. So, we'd have, like, a... Like that, maybe. Just more natural look to it. This little section just has nothing in it, I guess. I don't know. Does it- will it really even look like a mountain anymore? Who knows? Oh, it's just all- it's- there's so many decisions to make here, folks. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh... Thankfully, the game knows how to- it doesn't charge me for all of these blocks at once. Um... As I'm putting them down. This is, a. Uh, this is a little bit of a situation here, though. Maybe we want to mold it so that the the terrain is more 
centered. Maybe we want it to be in the center of this square. Ah, oh, jeez, these Roblox Plus notifications. They're loud. They're noisy. Uh, man, it's, it's, it's a lot to... It's a lot to guess. I don't really know what'll happen here. Um, let's see. It's just... It's, it's, it's hard to decide. It's definitely hard to decide. Uh, we could have... Okay, there, there's a lot of places we could potentially put a mountain. And even then, we don't necessarily need a mountain. You see what I mean? Uh, perhaps we should deal with the smaller stuff first. And then see if we need, really, a mountain to go with it. Or maybe the mountain would be the first... <laughs> there's just a lot of a lot of ways you could go about this. I think we probably want to not remove quite a bit, but just... just remove, like, you know, like that much, right? And... and kind of have it... like, more gaps. More gaps here, just to kind of give off that impression, yes, this is a mountain. Oops, we kind of messed that up right here. Uh... You know, just more mountainy feel. More natural, kind of, block by block, kind of randomly generated feel, rather than just flat out on there. Some places, flat out, but other places, not. So that's that's a good start. Aha, I caught my timer before it went off. So, you know, right now we've got a big flat area of stone, and we're gonna start working with this terrain and making it into something a little bit better. So we'll, we'll see what we, what we get from that. It's getting dark in this game. And frankly, the darkness sucks to build in. So maybe I might just wait it out until after the darkness goes away. But thank you all for watching! Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and I will see you next time! Bye!